So I wanted to start off the video with just the quick winner, which was the Bioionic. Um, I was hoping that the T3 would be because I think it's prettier. Uh, it won barely in my opinion, um, but for those of you that don't want to watch the video for five minutes, that was the overall winner. If you want to see why, you can proceed. Okay, so I'm going to do my personal opinion um, between the Bioionic 10X and the T3 one inch ink pass. Previously, I've used the one and a half inch uh, T3 straightener for like probably three or four years now, but it just got stepped on <clears throat> after I unpacked it from a little traveling and broke. So I was going to order another one. I never really liked the one and a half inch. I always wanted it to be smaller for like curling and such. So I was going to get this T3, but then I heard so much about the Bionic and the vibrating plates that I thought I should try that and see which one I like better. So I'm going to just straighten my hair. I'm not going to curl it and then just give you my opinion as far as what I think does a better job and what feels better. Obviously, I think the T3 looks better. It's quite pretty. Um, and I do have the curling wand that I've used for years with all the attachments which I love and they're pretty too. So here's the Bionic. And I did recently get this Dyson blow dryer, which I have to say, I almost don't need a straightener after owning it. So I think it's worth its weight in gold, even though it's a bit pricey. So they're both hot and they both got hot really quickly in the same amount of time. This one has, has the vibrating plates. Um, it's not really an on and off option. It just vibrates no matter what. I know that my hair is not parted down the center, but I'm just going to do it this way. Anyhow, I'm going to start with the bio on this side and then I'll do the T3 on the other. I have this on 400 and that's way too hot right now for me. I can tell already. So I'm just going to turn it down to probably like. 340 because it just leaves a really quick crease there. It feels great. Nice and straight. I'm going to go for the T3 now on this side. It's a little easier to see. I know I have a really strange way of straightening my hair it's kind of a little bit like more random looking but it's my method I promise you it works for me so here we go with this guy a familiar tool for me in a different size All done. Let me see here. So this is our bionic side. Very, very shiny hair. Thanks also to the fantastical blow dryer. The T3 side. A little more wavy still. Um, and I've, here's what I have in my hair too. I've got that, Kevin Murphy, um, leave-in, and then the oil as well from Kevin Murphy. So I'm a little bit devastated right now because <laughs> I kind of like the Bionic better. Um, overall, I think this one just felt a little more sticky on your hair. Like it didn't pull it, but it it's lighter weight which normally is good for things to be lighter weight this is not because it just feels like a little i don't know this one just like really grabs the hair doesn't pull it at all and just glides down and leaves it done this one's a little bit it just doesn't hold the hair and they're quite the same and it just feels a little bit more like sticky I guess, sliding down the hair. Something about this being lighter too, just feels like, I have no words. 
it's not uh, doing quite as good of a job. It feels a little bit more like a toy, like a doll straightener. This feels like it really grabs the hair, not like grabs it, like pulling it, but like has it in there and flattens it. So this is unfortunately for me the winner because I really like pretty things. <laughs> That's the winner.